guys, it's Eunice. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Welcome to this room tour. I recently did a room makeover just completely adding new decorations. So now that my room is all done, I thought I'd do a full in detail tour, show you where I got everything, the decorations I've had. Without further ado, let's get started. This is what my room currently looks like after the makeover. I'm so in love with it. It's a pretty small room, but I have it really decorated. And we're gonna start over here at my door. So when you first walk into my room, this is my door. I just have all of my tote bags hanging from here. As you can see, I have a lot. Above that, I just have this coat hanger that I believe I got from Ross. And then once you come in, you go to my closet. As for the decorations near my closet, I just have these two vines hanging and then also just surrounding the doors. On top, I also have a bunch of vinyls, which are also from Amazon. These vinyls are fake. They're purely for room decoration. I put them up when I like didn't even know what a vinyl was. But yeah, then this is my actual closet. It's pretty messy. Over here, I have all of my long sleeves and my sweaters. I have all my short sleeves and dresses here. Then we go to my shorts and my skirts. I have my jewelry on this cork board and then also up here. And then we have all of my jeans in this section. And then over there is my pajamas and leggings, all that kind of stuff. So that makes up the main portion of my closet. But here in the second side of my closet is where I keep all of my crew necks and hoodies, which you can tell I have a lot of. So after my closet, you move on to my mirror. So I have this full length mirror. I believe it's from Ross or Amazon, but this is what I look like. I really like how my full length mirror is right next to my closet. I think it makes it so much easier, especially for when I'm picking out outfits. Above my mirror, I have two more of the vinyls for room decoration. I also have a Polaroid of me and my friend and then one of Harry. If you didn't know, I'm a really big Harry fan. So you'll see a lot of my fangirlness throughout my room. And then I also have this bow that I wore at my Gracie Abrams show. And then hanging off my mirror, I also have my signed Gracie lanyard from her tour. But yeah, that's my mirror and this whole closet area in my room. Now we move on to like my bed area, which is pretty lot going on. First thing, right next to my mirror, I have a music stand. I pretty much am only using this when I'm filming, especially if I need like a tripod since I film with my phone. And then on the other side of my bed, I have this air purifier. I don't know, it's supposed to be good for your room, so I just have it in there. Right above my lamp, we have my baguette bag. This baguette bag is from Prince Polly, and I just have it hung up there. But yeah, that's like sort of everything at my bedside. Now we go to my actual bed. My blankets are all from, I think, Ross, Amazon, Target, stuff like that. And then I have a few stuffed animals over there that are just random ones that I've gotten over the years. But the decorations that we have above my bed is one of the biggest things that I did in my room makeover. Right above my bed, we have a very big photo collage. This photo collage wall is full of pictures that I either took myself or pictures on Pinterest. I have my Pinterest linked below as always, but all of these pictures are four by six, five by seven, or squares that I literally got printed out at Walmart for really cheap. I got like 50 pictures for $17, I think. Highly recommend. I'm very, very happy with how this wall turned out. And then as we go towards like the corner over there, I have a reading lamp and then I also have vines going up. And then right above my bed, we have two picture frames. These two picture frames I got from Amazon. They're just white eight by eight frames. The two pictures in them I got printed out from Walmart are of my family and my Gracie Abrams concert when she posted me on her Instagram. Literally lost my mind. So just had to put it up in my room, of course. And then surrounding it, I just have four different pictures of Harry Styles related things and Gracie Abrams related things because they're my two favorite artists of all time, if you could not already tell. Moving on from my bed, now we go to my window. And then above, I just have three vinyls. They're the same ones that I have on my closet. That is my windowsill. Now we go to my nightstand area. This is where it gets a little messy, but this is what I have on top of my nightstand. This is actually from Daiso, which is like a, like a local dollar store. Here, I just have two pencils. And then here is my LED light controller. My LED lights are from Space Lights, which I got literally four years ago. They're the same ones that I used in my freshman year room makeover. And honestly, they're starting to fall apart. So if you were to get LED lights now, I probably would get them from Amazon or something 
something. I think that these ones, they've served their time and they're definitely getting a little bit old. But yeah, that's where I keep this controller. And then in here, this is a controller that controls this. This is an LED light that I got from one of my friends from my birthday a few years ago. It's just of Harry Styles' Fine Line album cover. You can just change the color and I think it's really cool. And then we have my AirPods. And then here is a current book I'm reading. I'm currently reading the Hunger Games series. I actually just finished Catching Fire, the second book, like literally an hour ago. Just started the third book. And yeah, I always keep my current read on top of my nightstand. And then in this shelf below, this is where I keep my MacBook. And then here is where I keep all of my annotation and supplies for my books. As for the stuff I have here, this specific pouch is where I keep all of my annotation stuff. I'm such a big reader and I love to annotate my books. In this kit, I have a bunch of highlighters, pencils, post-its, and stuff like that. So it's really convenient when I'm in bed at night reading my book. And then we have my journal because I journal pretty much like almost every night at this point. And then the next thing that I keep in here is this one line a day booklet. Before I go to bed pretty much every day, I journal, do my one line a day, and like read or annotate books, whatever it may be. So that's why all of the supplies are near my nightstand. Moving on from this, then we go here. I honestly, it's really messy. I just have a bunch of random stuff, but that's pretty much what my nightstand is. This is a wooden one. Don't know where I got it. Pretty sure my parents got it like probably a decade ago. And then here next to my nightstand is where I keep my backpack that I use for school. After that, we move on to this side of my room, which is again, a lot going on. First, we're gonna start with my dresser. It's from Ikea. I pretty much just keep pajamas, socks, and just like random clothing. Here's just like extra clothes storage. And then on top, we have quite a few decorations going on. We have my favorite series as a child, the Land of Story series by Chris Colfer. And then next to that, we have my small little journal collection. I go through my journals pretty fast. So here I just have a collection of the different ones that I've been using throughout the years. And then we have over here, another succulent from Amazon, part of a pack. And then here, this is a box that I got from the Harry's House pop-up back in like 2022. It's pretty much like a concert box, like random stuff that I've gotten from concert over the years, like literally this fan project from my first ever Harry concert. I just keep this box over here on this corner of my dresser. And then this is a salt lamp from Amazon that I got a few years ago. I remember it being actually pretty expensive for how small it is, but it's really cute. I do, I should light it up more actually. It's really pretty. Then after that, we go to my clock. This clock is from Amazon. It's a projection clock. So the little laser on the side actually points up to the ceiling. Then we have an Amazon Echo really nice i honestly pretty much only use this as a speaker and then over here we just have this flower i got this like maybe 10 years ago at this point and here is just some jewelry that my grandma got me so i just keep that box over here here we have this flower i actually don't know who made this i'm pretty sure it was someone at my school but in here i just keep a bunch of different jewelry that's in here and then over here just have two leftover postcards from when i went to new york this i got from daiso in here i keep all of my random plugs and then here we have more random stuff post-its that goes there then as for the decorations right above my wall that is an ornament that my friend made me actually this is a plaque that i got last year from my school's student leadership that is a poster that i got from amazon back in like 2020 and then over here this is probably one of my favorite parts of my room quick like go on the decoration here i have two ballet frames these two ballet frames are from an old dance studio when I was like literally 12, I think I got them. And then next to it, I just have a bunch of different postcards. I'm very, very grateful. I've been able to travel to quite a few different places. So I sort of made it a tradition to get a postcard from every place that I've gone to. This is what it looks like now. I'll give you a mini tour. This is Gracie Abrams from her VIP package. This is New York. I went in January of 2023. This is Italy. I went in summer of 2022 and 2023. Got a postcard, literally my favorite place in the world. This is from Switzerland when I went 
summer 2023 same trip this is from japan i literally just had a layover there maybe two months ago when i went for christmas this is from taiwan my motherland this is another one of the new york postcards that i got in the collection and then this is from amoeba music have not been to the rocky mountain national park it's just like a postcard sold at amoeba music which is downtown hollywood above my postcard collection i have two butterfly posters these were from amazon i think i also have vines going up on this corner similar to like the ones near my bed again just to go around my windowsill like that that's pretty much my dresser area now we move on to my desk area above here we have two posters and then we have some fairy lights i literally got this in eighth grade and i just changed out the pictures but i love all the new pictures i put up and i'm pretty sure the fairy lights were from amazon then we go to my desk area on top of my desk we have a bookshelf this first thing i actually got from my friend in fourth grade so no idea where it's from but it's really pretty it's just a bunch of like fake flowers and stuff and then we have my growing collection of books i am not that big of a book collector i do want to become one but a lot of the books i read or just online my two favorite books on here are binding 13 and keeping 13 boys of Tomen series literally has my entire heart annotated it so dearly but yeah this is just my collection of books. And then we have this binder, which is again from the dollar store Daiso. Then we have this succulent, which is again part of the pack from Amazon. And then over here we have a Harry Styles CD. I got this when I went to the pop-up. Then we have this music box that I got from one of my friends for my birthday. I just keep it there. It's heart-shaped, so cute. That's pretty much everything on like the top shelf. This is what my actual desk looks like. So this is a mason jar that I keep all of my makeup brushes in. And then we have this perfume. And then next to that, we have this mirror, which is so cool. We actually have two mirrors. This mirror is like the mirror that I use when I'm traveling, but this is what I mainly use when I'm getting ready. On top, I just have a Burt's Bees lip balm and then a Glossier bomb.com. And then this is so cool. It literally lights up. Then we have my pencil case. This is just a normal pencil holder. Now to the three shelves on the side. This is a stationary kit that just has like AirPod case, just like random stuff. Here we have all of my cards that I pretty much have ever gotten. I literally keep every card that I've ever gotten in my life. And then we have this like bath salt thing. And then over here, we have the fourth succulent in my little succulent collection from Amazon. This like blue thing is from Daiso. And then above that, I put my hard drive where I upload all of my videos from. Now we're gonna go to inside all of my makeup and skincare, chapsticks and stuff, like different palettes, hair ties, sunglasses, combs, my collection of claw clips all of these are from amazon this like kit thing i think is from amazon then in this side drawer we have the extra pictures that i have i have a bunch of extra mascaras for when i run out and then literally don't even know what's beyond this just a bunch of random stuff and then over here we just have a bunch of random documents supplies and then just random books on the top and the biggest thing that i keep down here is all of my small travel sized bags. That is what this shelf looks like. And that is everything near my desk. Last thing, this red chair is in a set from Ikea. So now we move on to the last section, which is this chair. The pillow, I believe, is from Ross. Below it is literally just extra storage, like the extra vines that I have. After my chair, we are back at my door. So that is my full room. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Picture if you stayed till the end of this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day, night, or whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you guys next Saturday for another video. Bye.